Vishal, so I want to go back for a second to yeah. the small boy that was not treated well. The fam you, you seems like you had awesome family, not the greatest teachers or one teacher that really yeah. made you feel small. Uh, and so how did you take yourself? Because you talk a lot about confidence as well when I was doing research. And so you, you teach people how to gain confidence. So how did you do it? How did you become from this little scared boy to this awesome speaker sharing your gifts and skills around the world, with the entire world, basically? Mm -hmm. I'd be happy to. This is this is so good question. Thank you, Biara, for for taking me back there. I was reflecting. I carried that wound for many years internally. So, in the beginning, on the outside, I call it the plastic smile versus the powerful smile. Most people have a, you know, plastic smile. They're smiling on the outside, but internally they feel weak or they feel like a victim. So I felt like that for many many years in my life. I felt like a victim. And I had to let it go. I, I've tried many things, you know, therapy. I've gone to psychologists, psychiatrists. Not for just that teacher, but many, many other right. things. I've had tremendous, um, you know, painful breakup in my college days that that shook me apart, shattered my self belief uh, as, as well at that time. But anyways, I've learned to work in my on myself. And one thing I've realized over the years, Piata, is this: nobody's coming to save you. Nobody, not even your mentor, not your father, not your mom. It's your responsibility. It might not be your fault, but it's your responsibility. It might not be your fault that that teacher or that boss or that cool, you know, stranger abused you, insulted you, but it's your responsibility to heal that. One thing I've learned from Tony Robbins is heal the man, heal the boy and the man will appear. Mm. Heal the girl and the woman will appear. So I'm going to go a little woo without the motivation part that I had to heal. I have to learn how to heal that inner wound, you know, writing different things. I One great exercise that I do every single morning, even today, something called a, a three morning. It's called morning pages. If anybody goes to Google and types it morning pages by uh, Julia Cameron, which is basically you wake up in the morning and everything that is coming into your mind, it's not journaling. It is not creative writing. It's not goal setting. You just dump down your jealousy, your fear, your complaints you know all the things you just dump it down it's almost like you're releasing all the negative energy the first thing in the morning that's one exercise i do second affirmations i know you teach it to your clients is you know if you really want to be confident if you really want to have the power you have to affirm your power you affirm the kind of person that you want to be so every single morning i teach it that to my clients as well is you know mastering your morning routine and i know that's a very very um cheesy topic these days you know everybody's talking about you got to take the shower the, the exercise writing in journal but also doing in such a because the clients i work with they are they don't have 90 minutes in the morning because right. the morning they wake up there's like ah, there's the child crying <laughs> there is the wife like what did you do and there is this email the whatsapp so i tell them like a 18 minute segment of things to do that gives you the power that boost and i think another thing i did is i this habit i learned is writing goals three times a day Okay. First thing in the morning, last thing at night, and any time I feel like a loser. Wow. First thing in the morning, last thing at night before I go to bed, and any time, any time I feel like, man, what am I doing? You know, I'm making all the money, making all the things is fine, but you know, I'm, I lost my purpose. I'm not feeling good. I write down my goals quickly. Sometimes if I don't have a journal or a diary, I take my phone, I have this notepad, I open that and I just type down few things. and. I just, and that's, that's what I do. Also creating, you know, vision boards for me has been huge is, you know, not just the places and things, but I also have a vision board where I had the pictures of the mentors that I wanted to not emulate, but I wanted to have some of their characteristics and skills and some of their smiles, uh, some of their habits and consistencies. And, and this, 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 by doing few things, I let go. I murdered the victim Vishal Sarkar. Mm. And, you know, th that process gave birth to the confident Vishal Sarkar that now can install that confidence to all these thousands of people that we help and mentor now. Wow, you are such a powerful man. I'm so happy that you are here with us today. Yeah,